All right, I'm about to look, y'all. I'm about to look, I'm about to look. After having to order this product three separate times, driving over five hours away and waiting, honestly, over 10 years, I say we just get straight into this unboxing, all right? Make sure you're subscribed. I'm Vix Vibes. We're covering all things tech and especially Apple Vision Pro. So here we are, the one and only Apple Vision Pro. 512 gigabyte. We did get the Apple Care, like I mentioned in the other video. If you haven't watched the actual experience of going to pick this up, I highly suggest you go check that out. Y'all gotta know <laughs> that this makes me so excited to be able to finally unbox this, man. All right, y'all, the big reveal. <laughs> this moment kind of remind me of my iPhone 6S unboxing. Bro. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Let's just hope this goes a little bit smoother, all right? <sighs> y'all gotta add my own sound effects. All right, I'm about to look, y'all. I'm about to look, I'm about to look. <sighs> Dang. This is what I have been waiting on for a very, very, very long time. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it, man. I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Anytime that Apple enters the industry, they plan to redefine the entire industry. So this spatial computing device, we will not be calling a mixed reality headset, a AR headset, a VR headset. This is a spatial computing device. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, the fabrics on here feel amazing to the touch. If y'all see my video where I actually went and purchased it, y'all saw that I kind of like told her like, yo, I don't even wanna open my box. I really didn't even wanna have to do a demo at the store. I really just wanted to pick it up and figure everything else out at the crib. So I don't know what to do. I'm just excited, man. I'm gonna sit this down for now. I'm actually gonna sit it back inside of it. I might, I might keep this. Like, I like this. <laughs> it is here. All right, what else we got in here? Seems like we got a lot of paperwork. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's a flip book. Okay, okay. We got my dog in the book. Okay, she's been everywhere, I'm not gonna lie. Just basically everything that's in the box, which we'll get over, and a tour, the lenses. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, what else we got? We have our dual loop band. So the dual loop is the one that has two pieces to it. I don't know how this, okay. Listen, they're gonna take their time. One thing Apple gonna do is take their time when it comes to the presentation, all right? This is what the dual loop band looks like fresh out of the box. I'm assuming you pull a few of these tabs out. Okay, okay. All right, and so this is the uh, the other band that you're able to use. So you have, I don't know the best way to pick my junk up yet. So you have the solo knit band, which is the one that we've been seeing in most of the marketing. And it looks good, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really good and it's very soft to the touch, okay? But the real test is how comfortable does it make it feel when you actually have the headset on? Like that's, that's the real part that we're trying to get to. Uh, this is the dual loop band, so you'll see this one where it goes on top of the head and behind the head so that that way you have, you know, two pressure points to be able to, you know, kind of help distribute the weight versus only having a very soft, cause this is very soft, right? So you have the whole weight of the headset that's being held by this. So we'll see, I'm talking like I know, I really just been, you know, reading reviews on how it feels, but we ain't going by that. <laughs> we ain't going by that, all right? So this is our dual loop band. I just feel like I need to, I, I've never felt like I needed to like take care of the packaging of a, of a package before. But again, Apple just does a really good job of taking time with their packaging. And for 35, honey, you better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, for real. So we have a very cool braided USB-C. Y'all know all products are going USB-C nowadays. All right, we also got a brick in here as well. I haven't seen one of these inside of an Apple box, I think since, what, George Bush? No, just... <laughs> we also have the actual battery pack. This thing, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of heavy, bro. Like, side-by-side -side comparison, 
genuinely like i can't really tell which one is heavier low key i think this one <laughs> i think the battery pack may actually be a little bit heavier than the vision pro itself it has a little weight to it so it does have like a a little clip that you can clip it in but i don't know i feel like this is going to be something that we don't see forever this is the first generation of this product and knowing apple i just don't see this battery pack being allowed being around for much longer <laughs> than the first generation here let me take the plastic off and everything as well oh this is something i've been wondering about actually so on the side of the all right now something else i've been wondering about the battery is two things one is it hot swappable meaning this has to plug into oh this is not magsafe I thought this was MagSafe. This is not, this seems mechanical. Like it's a lock, a lock feature on it. So we're gonna figure that part out in a little bit. But I want I wanted to know if once it's connected to the headset, and this kind of answers my question. Once it's connected, if it accidentally pulls out of the headset, does the headset automatically shut down? I've had bad old laptops like that where the battery won't hold the charge anymore. So as soon as the cord come out, it powers off. That would really upset me if that's the case with this. Um, because you can buy a separate battery for $200. And so if I'm swapping the batteries out, like I just, I'm, I'm curious about that. So that's something that we'll be figuring out as well as we go through this journey. But this is actually interesting. I definitely thought this was going to be MagSafe. Maybe that's smarter not to have it magnetic because I was genuinely concerned about that for real. All right. What else we have designed by Apple California? Oh, the polishing cloth. All right. This is the $20. This is not, <laughs> this is not the $20 polishing cloth. This is actually better. This is better than the $20 polishing cloth. I have one of those and this is, this is much better quality. And because we, I haven't even revealed the front, but because there's glass on the front of this, this is definitely gonna come in handy. I wonder, I wonder how I can store this along with my device at all times. I'm gonna have to figure out that portion as well. Just got some paper. I know we got an Apple logo. Surely, Apple, I know y'all didn't take the time to put all this goodness in the box and then not give us the traditional Apple sticker. Like, let me just keep digging. Surely there's something I'm missing. Okay, that's the bottom of the box. I'm not missing anything. All right, light seal cushion. So I already have a light seal on here and a cushion. So I believe this is the backup, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see what it says. Use a light seal cushion. Okay, so we already have, so we have one cushion on. Let's go ahead and move all this stuff to the side. Okay. Now, I really like this little flip book. Like, this is super cool. I really appreciate having this. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual device itself. So pulling it off of the stand, all right, is gonna be just the, the headset by itself. Um, the young lady yesterday, shout out to the associate that was able to help me out. She told me that it's best to really just grab it by the actual face itself. Put your thumb underneath like the middle portion, okay? And then put the four fingers on top. This is for anybody that plans to hold anybody's, ain't no drops, oops, whoopsies. It's four racks, all right, before you make any mistakes. Make sure that you're holding it appropriately, all right? So let's go ahead and take off the additional white paper, okay? This is really, really nice. It's like a perfect, <laughs> that's so funny, bro. Apple, they're good. This is like a perfect semi-hard little sculpt. So if you can't afford the Vision Pro, we do have the Vision Pro SE. This is gonna be $1,500 just for the cardboard. <laughs> no, right. So as you can see, you got your solo knit band in the back and in the front here, I haven't quite figured out the best way to take it off. Okay, cool. Let me do that one more time. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh-uh, uh-uh. <sighs> Let's do it one more time. Yeah, this is like semi hard as well. It's not super hard, but it is. Bro, what are you talking about, man? 
a, a front protector. I, I can see myself putting this on practically any time that I'm not actually using or wearing the device. The less that this glass can be exposed to the external, I think the better it's gonna be for your device. I did get the Apple Care, so no matter what happens, we are protected, okay? So let's go ahead and replace the light seal cushion. It is magnetic and very, very simple to pull apart. So inside of the light seal cushion, you're gonna see these little ridges and it's magnetic. So as soon as you place it close, it'll automatically snap into place, very much so Apple-like. <laughs> Versus, I won't say any names, but I've had other headsets where it's like just a rubber thing and it's, it's an issue to kind of, you know, keep in the right position. You kind of got to move it around and things like that. So to have something that's just going to snap into place, I really, really appreciate that. Okay. Oh, wow. I also realized that right here above the nose, this right here is like a clothy material rather than having a rubber rubberized material. I think that may have to do with like, you know, sweat or anything like that that may, you know, form on the nose versus having, you know, something rubber. So, <sighs> let's put it on, shall we? Wait, which one do I want to use? Do I want to use the smaller light seal? Okay, so wait, wait, these are the cushions. All right, let's back up one more step. So you have two, so you have both cushions and you can decide which one is going to be for the best fit for you. But then you also have the light seal itself. And now the light seal also is magnetic. So all these pieces come apart and then you're left with essentially the headband itself, which if you pull on the orange tabs, this easily releases as well. So you can have the solo knit by itself. And then you see that at the core of this hardware, you have nothing but the headset itself, okay? You have just the headset, two 4K displays that you'll be looking inside of, and uh, some just some beautiful specifications we've covered, and I'll break down a little bit further as we start to use the device as well, okay? But just looking at everything here, we have our cover for the front of the headset. We have our polishing cloth, which will be used to clean off the headset. We have our light seal. This is going to keep the light from around you from getting inside of your field of vision. This is what's gonna allow for you to stay kind of immersed within um, the experience itself. So again, magnetic, drop it down, comes into place. I could have done that a little bit smoother, but I'm learning my way around it. Um, I think I'm going to use the smaller cushion to begin with. Okay, this is the light seal cushion. Again, magnetic, put that down, snaps into place. Let me go ahead and cover up my device just even as i'm you know moving things around and messing with it and i'm also going to go ahead and put my knit band back on as well i don't know this is my first time doing this okay seems pretty pretty simple they just snap in okay they just snap in very simple and then you're good to go Mm. so then okay i put it on maybe i put it on backwards is there a left and a right because i'm right-handed i want to have this on the i wonder if there's a wrong way to put this on because i definitely just put it on the opposite way that i had it when i was in the store i like the adjustment to be on my right hand side because i'm right-handed so if i ever reach up with my right hand i want to be able to mm. And then you just turn, this is really nice. So you just turn the dial and it begins to get tight on your head. Yeah, so now it's now it's 100% firm and we're in there. So this is what it looks like with the cover on. I can't see you guys right now just because it's turned off. Now, once I have this thing fired up, I'll be able to see the world around me. This is not a device where you can't see the world and you're 100% enclosed within the virtual world. You're actually able to see everything around you through the cameras that are computing it and showing it back to you, which is why it's called spatial computing. But we'll get into all of those good things later. I really just want to show you guys everything inside of the box. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and replace the solo knit band with the dual loop band just to see how this looks as well. Cause I haven't even seen it in person with this connection. And I'd also like to connect the battery. I haven't seen this connected as well. I don't want to jam it in there, but it doesn't let me align everything. I do not want to jam it in there, but it is not an easy just go. Like, what's up with this? Okay, I see much better. In order to secure your battery pack to the headset, there's actually two guide dots that are located on the side of the device. What you're gonna wanna do is line the dot up that's on the center piece of the charging cord with the blank dot, the empty one, meaning it's not plugged in, and then go ahead and twist it towards the solid dot. Once it's towards the solid dot and these two lines are equal with each other, then your device will start blinking, okay? Now, I don't wanna power it on right now, so I'm gonna be careful touching the dial, but I do wanna put it back on with the it doesn't look like it's enough space. Ooh, that cord is locked in. All right. Yeah, you got to be careful how you grab it because like where I naturally would grab it to put on other VR headsets actually just made this magnetic part come a piece, come apart, <laughs> excuse me. So, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, that magnetic thing is kind of weird. Okay, let's try one more time. Yeah, where these two apply the pressure at isn't where I would need the assistance. Like their band is going sideways. I would prefer a band that went backwards so that that way it can lift off of my cheeks a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling the dual loop. Now, I personally haven't even turned my own headset on. I haven't done any demonstrations. I haven't seen anything through this headset not one time, okay? This is the unboxing. I hope this video was informative for anybody that's looking to go and purchase this product. Just show you guys everything that was in the box. I know when I'm about to make a purchase like this, I like to watch every tutorial and know what I'm getting myself into. So just let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about the video. And next up, we'll be having first impressions. We'll be covering all things Apple Vision Pro, but let me know down in the comments below what you wanna see next. See you guys soon.